ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಗುಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವೇತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅಗ್ರೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪೃಷ್ಠೆ ಭಾನುಹುರಾತ್ರ ಸುಭುಖ ಸಮರ್ಪಿತ ಜಾನು ಸರತಲ ಭಿಕ್ಷರುತಲ ವಾಸ ತದಿ ನ ಮುಂತೆ ಗಂಗಾ ಸಾಗರ ಗಮನ ವೃಥ ಪರಿಪಾಲ ಮಥವಾದಿಹೀನ ಸರ್ವಮತೇನ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಭಜತಿ ಜನ್ಮಶತೇನ ಸುರಮಂದಿರತರು ಮೂಲ ನಿವಾಸ ಶೈಲ್ಯಾಭೂತಲ ಮಜಿನ ವಾಸ ಸರ್ವಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ಭೋಗ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಕಸ್ಯ ಸುಖಂ ನ ಕರೋತಿ ವಿರಾಗ ಭೋಗರಥೋ ವಾ ಭೋಗರಥೋ ವಾ ಸಂಗರಥೋ ವಾ ಸಂಗ ವಿಹೀನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ರಮತೆ ನಂದತಿ ನಂದತಿ ನಂದತ್ಯೇವ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಕಿಂಚಿತೀತ ಗಂಗಾ ಜಲಲವಕಣಿಕಾಪೀತ ಸಗೃಧಪಿಯೇನ ಮುರಾರಿ ತಮಸ್ಸ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ತಯಮೇನ ನ ಚರ್ಚ without knowledge of the self liberation is not possible that is the theme of all the scriptures it's a theme of the punishments without knowledge liberation is not possible when they say without liberation knowledge is not possible what it means is number 1 actions will not bring a change in the personality that's what it means again i repeat actions do not bring a change in the personality knowledge brings knowledge means that should bring a change in you then it is knowledge so when he says all these actions whatever actions we have been discussing uh, i don't know um, verse number 17 15 16 17 we he is talking about so many types of actions of various types of people he says all these actions of various type of people will not result in liberation other than knowledge therefore the important thing is why do they insist on knowledge alone can bring transformation looks like such a fanatic uh, looks like such a fanatic statement it's not a phonetic statement it's a statement of fact what is the statement of fact actions do not bring about an inner change you understand that you will understand how knowledge alone helps actions are very actions are very easy to do all that you have to do is what mechanically you can go on perform actions are relatively easy to do and by doing an action you don't have to make an effort for your awareness to change for your consciousness to change for the betterment what is the meaning of knowledge 
the meaning of knowledge is heightened awareness your awareness goes on increasing your sensitivity goes on increasing that is called the knowledge in vedantic sense what is meant by knowledge we have to understand this word very clearly because it because the english word knowledge has a different meaning the english word knowledge has a different meaning what is the what is english word knowledge means knowledge of the scriptures in fact the most easiest thing is the knowledge of the scriptures because even in fasting and tapas mechanically you have to do something in gaining knowledge of the words of the scriptures you don't have to do anything all that you have to do is what read a few books and memorize just go read a few books and memorize you will have in fact the easiest thing is compared compared to all the spiritual disciplines what is the most easiest thing knowledge that's why we are doing knowledge here amit because it is the very easiest thing to just simply sit and simply sit and talk where you don't have to go back and do anything compared to that going back and doing something is slightly more difficult and yet he goes on saying knowledge alone brings liberation knowledge alone brings liberation knowledge alone brings liberation it means we need to have a very clear understanding of what knowledge means here Are you able to follow knowledge means that which that which makes you more aware knowledge means knowledge means awareness knowledge means consciousness then the question is of what of what heightened awareness heightened consciousness heightened sensitivity if you have all these then it is called you have knowledge now you you you, you may not have any of these and still have lot of knowledge we call that as no knowledge at all we call that as no knowledge at all it is like you know some of these houses have this musical boxes no you put it on in the morning the whole day it will chant gayatri isn't it whole day it will go on chanting the gayatri any house i go if they put it i'll say just put it off i'll say he, 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 you say it once you know why the now the whole day the machine chanting gayatri the whole day does it bring any change to the machine it is chanting the gayatri will it bring any change to the machine no change will happen to the to the machine because it has got no awareness it is not bringing in any it is not bringing in any change therefore knowledge means awareness but we, if you think if you think knowledge means knowledge of the scriptures then it is the easiest thing to do the knowledge of the scriptures is the easiest what do you mean by the easiest you can memorize the gita you can memorize the words which is much easier than fasting and charity that is why in this classroom we are all very wise we don't want to take the minimum effort of fasting and charity also we have come to knowledge straight we came and sat here so what do we do i keep saying go back go back go back because easiest thing is you can memorize the entire gita and there will and there may not be any what elsewhere he says as there may not be any song in your life there may not be any music in your life there may not be anything beautiful wonderful at all in your life and yet you have you could have and yet you could have memorized the whole gita and you can and you can give electrifying discourses on gita also and yet your life will not have any and yet your life will not have any song life is one of misery but the words is one of is, is that knowledge will that knowledge bring liberation no that knowledge will not bring liberation because that is not knowledge at all in the in the first place sura mandira taru moola nivasa and the verse padikrom illaya and the verse na padichu nirukrom Seventeen. We have not yet gone to the 
we have not yet gone to the right spiritual practice. Huh? That is 18. No, no, no. 17. We are on 17. We are on 17. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Correct. Now, 17 is basing here. Wrong belief. That's what I started. No? Knowledge alone is the liberation. Correct. Knowledge alone gives liberation. Sarva, oh, correct. Even 100 lives later also, you will not get any bereft of knowledge. What is knowledge? Odonya sadhane vyogi sakshan mokshaika sadhanam pakasya vakhniva jnanam vina moksho na siddhyati atma bodha anya sadhane vyah so he, he is making a distinction between anya sadhana and jnana. So everywhere, in all scriptures, the distinction will be made. Na karmana na prajaya dhane na tyage na ike amurdhatva manasuhu. So in every scripture, in all scriptures, the distinction will be made. What is the distinction? The distinction between anya sadhana and the main means. All others must be used as the preparatory steps. Jnanam is the main, Jnanam is the direct means for liberation. Now you cannot directly come to knowledge without preparing. Just as you cannot start cooking without preparing. Can you directly start cooking? Because actual cooking is keeping it on fire, isn't it? Actual cooking is keeping it on fire, that's all. So, the food gets cooked only on fire. But you just directly come and keep, nothing will happen. Lot of preparation has to be done. So, Anya Sadhane Bhyaha is a preparation. What is the preparation here? All this, if it is used as preparation, it will take you to liberation. But what people do? One may go on a pilgrimage to where Ganges meets the ocean. Sagara. Purute Ganga Sagara. That Ganga Sagar has two meanings. Ganga Sagar has two meanings. One meaning is where Ganges meets the ocean. Another meaning is Ganga plus the Sagar. What is Sagar? Rameshwaram. That is another meaning. You know how they make the tour in this country, no? So Ganga Sagar. So one meaning is Ganga Sagar. Ganga Sagar means where Ganges meets the ocean. One discipline. Another discipline is Sagar means in the Shastras, in those days, Sagar means Rameshwaram. So, people go between the, from, you know, from the, from the south, people doesn't really go that much to Rameshwaram. We all will go to Kashi. From the north, they will not go to Kashi that much. They all will come to south Rameshwaram. Have you ever known, do you ever know that? You go to Rameshwaram and see only Chatterjee, Mukherjee, all useless Gs will be there in Angarapur. You go to Kashi and see Pengarajanam, Ganesh, Manogar. You Why? Why can't they? You, my, you go there, you go there. No, no, that's the discipline. That's the practice. So Ganga Sagar means you can do this wonderful practice of going to these two places, finishing the circuit of the worship, and yet you will not grow if you don't have knowledge. That's what he says. Purute Ganga Sagar Gamanam. One interpretation of it is all these practices are wrong, ridiculed. Another interpretation is you must use it as a preparatory practices and come to knowledge for moksha. There are two ways of understanding these verses. One way of understanding the verses is ridicule all these practices and dismiss all these practices as useless. Another way of interpreting these verses, another way of understanding the same verses is use these verses as a preparatory steps by doing all these practices, you will be prepared enough to gain knowledge. What these masters condemn is, you doing these practices as an end in itself is condemned. 
the practices is not condemned the practices is not ridiculed doing this practices as an end in as an end in itself is condemned because you are not going to get anything out of this practices by itself because action by itself will not bring a change that's how i started by saying are you able to follow now action by itself will not will not bring a change isn't it so mitro idli dosa even if you sit in have in haridwar also it is not it will not bring a yeah it will not bring a He, he came to Haridwar. He, I went to Haridwar, sitting and having idli. I was thinking he could have sat there. I could have sat here only. Why go all the way to sit and have idli and come back? Uh, <laughs> correct. That action of it, that action itself is not going to bring a a change. Then what will bring a change? The clarity of the doing. What is the clarity of the doing? All this is preparatory. Going to temple, doing these pilgrimage trips, doing all these practices are preparatory steps. Without the preparation, knowledge will not sink in. Without preparation, you come to knowledge. What will happen? You will go on gathering words. You will go on collecting words. Personality will not change. That's what happened to so both. Coming to knowledge directly is also wrong. Doing these practices as an end in itself is also wrong. Are you able to follow what he is trying to? What these masters are trying to tell us? Doing these practices as an end in itself is also wrong. Ridiculing all this practice and saying all this I don't need and coming to knowledge also is wrong. Why? Because when I come to knowledge directly without preparation, I will not be gathering knowledge. i will be accumulating words i will be gathering i will be gathering words and the upanishad says without preparation if you come and collect words you are collecting nothing less than garbage upanishad has the courage to say about the words of the vedas look at that it says without preparation you come to the shastras all that you end up doing is collecting All that you end up doing is collecting garbage. Upper a lawyer, Unda Kopanishad calls it as upper a lawyer knowledge. Lawyer means what is lower garbage. So words, scriptures without preparation becomes a garbage. Incidentally, your garbage becomes useful to somebody else. That's all. But to you, it is garbage. Shankar, Purida. To you, it is that it means there will not be any inner transformation. But that garbage can be of useful to somebody. Poor fellow, they will be growing and we will be stuck. They will be growing and we will be stuck. Therefore, preparatory practices are essential. What are the preparatory practices? Kurute Ganga Sagar Gamanam Vrata Paripala Na Matava Dhanam. All this is Anya Sadhana. All the, all this technically is called Anya Sadhana. Odonya Sadhane Biyogi Sakshan Mokshaika Sadhanam. So for Moksha, knowledge is the direct means. Are you okay till now? Why do we say knowledge is the direct means? because the fundamental problem is ignorance the fundamental problem is ignorance since ignorance being the fundamental problem knowledge alone becomes the the solution but for the knowledge to come preparation is required this is the sequence what do these people do either they don't do this practices at all or they go on doing actions assuming that actions are going to bring about a transformation what is the transformation changing the robe to an ochre color is not going to bring a transformation of the personality isn't it the ochre color randal seri white kurta vardal seri or all means the all means the same by changing the robes is something going to change nothing is going to change isn't it by changing the action by doing an action you will not will not change 
repeatedly if i do sir will i not change it will become a habit that's all mechanical habit you do an action continuously it becomes a mechanical habit and you will develop a kind of expertise again i repeat anything done anything done repeat anything done repeatedly anything done repetitively over a period of time you gain a kind of you gain a kind of expertise that expertise will not be called as knowledge how do we say that as long as conditions are the same the actions will continue one small change happens the person will get confused not knowing not knowing what to do exactly like exams average student 70 80 and all is very easy to get or some average intelligence you have 70 80 and all is easy, easy to get but the 95 to 100 there will be some twist only that two three you need to know how to only who has knowledge can can unlock that two three and get to 95 to 100 78 and all anybody can do it means that portion is the test the rest of it is just a memory actual test comes only there rest of it is just your memory one whole year you memorize can't you even do that one whole you one whole year you memorize what is the big problem in reproducing that so actions by itself will bring a kind of expertise repetitive repetitive doing will bring a kind of expertise and that expertise should not be misunderstood as knowledge then what is knowledge a heightened awareness a a objectivity a vairagya so indicators of knowledge is awareness indicators of knowledge is vairagya without all this there is no no there is no knowledge now you can't get directly all this some preparation is required but the people believe by repeatedly doing an action i can become wise people misunderstand what i can do some actions repeatedly and by doing those actions repeatedly i can become i can become wise every day i can chant sahasra nama the first two four five days i have to be very alert after five six days i would have memorized and then what happens as my tongue will be chanting sahasra nama my mind will go on a my mind will go on a world tour and come back isn't it exactly like driving see when you are driving the first few days isn't it the first day when you hold the steering the way you hold the steering so tight you think you are lifting the entire car on your shoulders no isn't it that so you hold it so tight you think the whole car you are carrying it on you and walking isn't it so tight isn't it and every vehicle coming in front front of you looks like it's going to it's going to bang on you isn't it every tree there comes to the middle of the road all by itself isn't it the tree comes to the middle of the road have, have, so you become so alert become so after a few days what happens after a few days what happens you gain some kind of an expertise you can go on talking and fighting and everything and still you will hit the brake properly it means what you have you have developed a kind of expertise repetitive actions but it will not bring about a change in personality so here knowledge in vedanta means a, a change in awareness a change in understanding a change in maturity change in awareness change in maturity all this means only one thing what vairagya detachment you can call it objectivity you can call it detachment you can call it sanyasa you can call it vairagya all means the all means the same so a person can do all this and not have any and not have any of these that person will not gain any knowledge lastly this is very important to know is human being 
likes to go on finding excuses. Again, human being likes to find excuses. We go on, we go on sinning and try to do something so that the conscience doesn't prick. I go on sinning and then something I want to do, the conscience doesn't stop pricking me. Therefore, what? Ah, by taking a dip in the Ganges, I am free. By taking a dip in the Ganges, I am free. Are you able to follow? Man goes on finding excuses. For what? Human being looks for excuses. Why? Why we sin and the sinning brings the conscience to be the sinning pricks. And when it pricks, you want to find them. When it pricks, knowledge tells you, take responsibility. You made a blunder, take responsibility. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. Are you able to follow? But human being cannot do that. They will want a method to get rid of the guilt very fast. So what do they do? Some action I do quickly and feel I am I am free. What is that free? Go to Ganges, dip and come back mechanically. Poor Ganges, isn't it? Poor Ganges. Thank God Ganges is coming from the head of Lord Shiva. Imagine if she is not coming from the head of Lord Shiva, she will be the most burdened mother on this earth. Most burdened mother. Why? You commit a sin. Why should she wash off your sin? You commit the sin. You must do something to... Oh, that's why I am going to Ganges. No, sir. No. By, by dipping in the Ganges, knowledge must have... Knowledge should have come. What is the knowledge? Should have come. When you dip in the Ganges, knowledge should come. What is the knowledge that should come? Now... Now that I have bathed in the Ganges, I am free of sins. I should no more commit a sin. Now the person will dip in the Ganges, free oneself for all sins. Now that he is free, with a guilt-free conscience, he can go and commit a new sin. Huh? <laughs> How does it work? That's what he is saying, it won't work. Are you able to follow? That's what he is saying as it won't? It won't work. Understand this. A very, a very cheap way of getting rid of the sin is what? Bathe in the Ganges. What a cheap way to get rid of it. Correct? Are you able to follow? That's what he's objecting to. He's not objecting to the Ganges or dipping in the Ganges. The wrong knowledge with which we go. The wrong knowledge with which we go. Isn't it? Long back I heard one of the Acharyas saying, hey, what a cheap way to get rid of the Ganges. So what a D, what a cheap way to get rid of the sin by getting rid of, by going and dipping in the Ganges. And most of the pilgrims, they don't even buy tickets, he says. Most of the travelers, they don't even buy tickets. You know that, no? Because I'm going on a pilgrimage, I'm entitled not to buy. Yes. Now, the free ride in the train, free ride in everything, free Ganges takes, uh, Ganges gets rid of your sin freely. In fact, take it or leave it. Vijay Rangan. All these wrong practices will make you an expert in sinning. Because you have found a cheap method to get rid of sinning. Are you able to follow? Yapashyati, Sapashyati. Whoever gets it, gets it. All these methods will make you an... Whether you are getting rid of sin or not, God only knows. But you will become an expert in sinning. Why? Because you know what to do to get rid of the sin. Isn't it? 
what to do ज्ञान विहीन सर्व मतन मुक्ति भजति जन्म शतन हंड्रेड लाइफ नथिंग विल The real journey to knowledge is costly, painful. The real, the real journey to knowledge is very, very expensive. You should be able to afford that journey. It's not easy. It's not. It's it's it, it's it's very difficult. It's not easy. More difficulty means human being must be more inspired to do it. Then only the human being comes. Oh, difficulty! I will not uh, do it. Na cowardice, isn't it? Difficulty means you should be able to say, "Wow, difficult! Na ah, now I like." Oh, difficulty! I like. No, no, difficult! I can't do. Na it is like a cheap way to escape sinning. Are you able to follow? Certain things should not be told, but when these verses come, what do we do? We have to say. Yeah. Then, then, then we are not doing justice to the. Then we are not doing justice to the to the verses. Hmm. And poor child, she came to take blessings for the birthday, and she is only getting singing, singing, singing. <laughs> poor child. Correct, no? She came for that, no? Isn't it? Poor child. She must be thinking of the coil. Because Kabali, because at least Kabali doesn't say all this, isn't it? Kabali sure doesn't say all this. At least he does. He 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 simply bless. He he really blesses her. He one God who will really blesses that man. He blesses. Really. When you don't understand it rightly, the spiritual practices will make you an expert in sinning. That's what they are objecting to. Are you able to follow? You understand this. You have understood what they are trying to say. If you if you if you don't have the right knowledge, if you don't have the right practices, if you don't have the right yardstick for growth, the very spiritual practices will make you an expert in in sinning. And the most dangerous thing that will make you an expert in sinning is knowledge. Because words you can gather, and and it will make you believe that you know. The words you will gather, and it will make you believe that you know everything, and you think that you can do anything and everything. That's what they are objecting. Are you able to follow now? So in everything there is this danger. What is the what is the danger? The spiritual practices. Which is supposed to help you to get out of the sinning way of living, he is actually making you a. He is actually making you a. Expert in sinning. Yeah. Now that I have made my confessions, I am free, and go back and start all over again. Na, na, remember to follow. Now that I have made my confessions, I am free, sir. What? Now, now my slate is clean. I can start. All over again, 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 again. What is the way to do? Come back and come back and confess. So go on sinning and go on confessing. Go on sinning and go on confessing. Nothing will change. Janma shate na mukti na bajati janma shate na hundred lives. Also, you will not attain transformation growth. मुक्ति न बजती जन्म शते न देवर अन्य साधने ब्यह इज नॉट अ डायरेक्ट मींस फॉर लिबरेशन नॉलेज इज द डायरेक्ट मींस फॉर लिबरेशन दिस अन्य साधने ब्यह ऑल दिस अदर प्रैक्टिसेस व्हिच इज गिविंग द लिस्ट आत्मबोध डजंट गिव द लिस्ट आत्मबोध ओनली सेस अन्य साधना व्हाट इज द लिस्ट ऑफ अन्य साधना द लिस्ट ऑफ अन्य साधना ही इज गिविंग हियर व्हाट इज दैट लिस्ट दैट ही इज गिविंग हियर पिलग्रिमेज टू द गैंगस गंगा सागर ऑब्जर्विंग व्रतम Dhanam, etc. All these are anya sadhane bhya, which will not directly lead to liberation, according to sarva matena. 
Sarva Matena means according to all schools of thought. According to all schools of thought, this will not lead to liberation. Then the question is, we have heard enough, what all will not lead to liberation? Hmm? We have heard that enough, sir. Now, what is the way to what is the way to liberation? What is the way to liberation now? 18 Padinga. One second. Yes. He said uh, you become an expert in sinning. Yes. Does so sinning mean wrong practices without right knowledge? Is that sinning or any other thing as well? Ah, I said you become an expert in sinning. And she is asking what is what is expertise in sinning? Sinning. Sinning. sinning na I will do all spiritual practices and continue and continue to become more and more selfish. That is sin. What is sin? Selfishness. All spiritual practices I do and continue to remain as selfish as ever. Are you able to follow? Continue to be as frightened as ever. Fear. Are you able to follow? It is the, it is, what is the sin? Fear. Uh, living life in fear. Oh my God, I may get caught. I may get caught. I may get, what a fear it is. Pricking. If I get caught, what will happen? Therefore, I need to prevent not getting caught. These are, these are all, these are all the mind work when something wrong has happened. Are you able to follow? The fear. Hmm? Are you able to follow? Fear. So sinning means living life in living life in fear. Selfishness. Selfishness leads you to do wrong actions and the consequences of wrong action is fear. So whenever you are living in fear, agitations, you have committed a sin. Work backwards like that. Are you able to follow? You live a life of selfishness. Out of that life of selfishness, you make wrong. You, you make wrong choices, wrong actions. Those wrong choices, wrong actions comes back and hurt you by giving mental agitations. Whenever you are mentally agitated, you are mental agitations is called as sin. Are you able to follow? You can go to Ganges and get extremely agitated there. You can go to temple and get extremely agitated there. Isn't it? So any place you go, you know one thing. What? How to get agitated. Isn't it? It means that is sin. Mental agitations are sin. Are you able to follow? But from outside, you look, this person is doing wonderful spiritual activities. What? Chanting Rama, Rama, Rama all the time. Maybe chanting Gayatri, maybe going on pilgrimages, maybe doing this Eka Deshi Vratham, maybe doing all the all the five times, six times a day of worshipping has to be done. They have everything. So from outside looks like a very pious, religious life. But that person is an expert in sinning. Because mental agitations is not going. Okay, what is mental agitations going away means fear. Still living a life of a life of fear. Are you able to follow? Vairagyam eva abhayam. Vairagyam eva abhayam. There is this. Vairagya Shatakam by Bhartruhari, one of the one of the great uh, saints, Vairagya Shatakam by Bhartruhari. In that Vairagya Shatakam, 100 verses on Vairagya. In that 100 verses on Vairagya, Bhartruhari says, Vairagya meva abhayam. This comes in one of the beautiful verses, verse number 31 of Vairagya Shatakam. He says, Vairagya meva abhayam. Only Vairagya leads you to the state of fearlessness. A, 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 a fearless person will not be mentally agitated. When he is not mentally agitated, Shantanam Vidaragina. He is peaceful. That peaceful mind is prerequisite for gaining knowledge, moksha. Are, are you able to work backwards? This is how the sequence works. 
vairagyam eva abhayam it's a beautiful verse why it's a beautiful verse because in that verse everything he lists out and he gives how it causes fear it's a beautiful verse huh? everything he lists out and he says what will cause fear verse no beautiful verse oge roga bayam 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 nirgu in the verse full la and the verse full la bayam 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 nirgu clear guna cinema pada dialogue madiri irukum adu clear bayam 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 ram subramanyam inge enna copy adalla theriyuma verse number 32 one of the i tell you in the vairagya shatakam adalla sanskrit la introductory classes la idala solli kudupanga in the 6th standard when they uh, when they want you to learn language they will teach you all this language idu enna sambandham ba ba black sheep dhan solli kudukonu isn't it illaya a for apple nu solli kudukonu when you leave, when, when you read this sanskrit only they will teach you this and i remember all this because we have to memorize and write I memorized it so much and write we go apo memorize panni irukana da mark kadikum mark kadicha da you will be free a beautiful verse it tell you boge roga bayam boge roga bayam means what in enjoyment there is the fear of disease <laughs> in enjoyment oyo romba saapta vaitholi vandru isn't it oyo romba saapta diabetes vandru nowadays you know the fear I told last week also I told the people at, uh, at, at that place where I was staying, just to keep the food on the table. Don't have to keep saying it is healthy food, healthy food, healthy food. Isn't it? Anything you keep on the table, they'll say it is very healthy. It is, I said, I don't want healthy food. I want unhealthy food. Yeah. Why? This is healthy food. This will take care of this. This will take care of that. In my head, I think, Boge Roga Bayam. <laughs> Boge Roga Bayam. Purida. Mm-hmm. Boge Roga Bayam. This is the healthy food, sir. Oh, this will give you that. This, why? Fear of? In enjoyment, there is the fear of disease. Order Mati Mati Vena Sullam. Because I, 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 by heart at long back, I may not remember the sequence. Oh, verse Allam Parchit Ondhi Thap Thapas Oltan Chola Adhinga Manohar. And now, that is a scholar. That is a scholar. That is a verse 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 that is அப்புறமா ஹி வில் சே சார் அந்த வருஷத்துல அதை மாத்தி சொல்லிட்டீங்க வெங்கட் அவரெல்லாம் கேன்சல் பண்ணுங்க கிளாஸ்ல இருந்து டிஸ்மிஸ் பண்ணுங்க அவரெல்லாம் அமித் டோன்ட் கூகுள் ஆஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்கிங் சிம்பிளி லிசன் போகே ரோக பயம் கமா ஒன் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ போட்டு வாங்க சம்படி கீப்ஸ் த நம்பரிங்க குளத்தூர் ஒழுங்கா கேட்டு நம்பர் போட்டுன்னு வாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் போகி ரோக பயம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் செகண்ட் குலே சுதி பயம் குலே சுதி பயம் குலே சுதி பயம் மீன்ஸ் இன் சோஷியல் பொசிஷன் த ஃபியர் ஆஃப் லூசிங் த நேம் யோர் ஜாகிரதையா இருக்கணும் நம்மளை பத்தி யாரும் தப்பா பேசிட கூடாது ஜாகிரதையா இருக்கணும் ஆஃப் லூசிங் த ஸ்டேட்டஸ் உலே சுதி பயம் எவ்வளவு சொல்லிருக்கிறேன் ஓகே ரோக பயம் உலே சுதி பயம் அதனாலதான் ஒழுங்கா இருக்கணும் ஜாகிரதையா இருக்கணும் இல்லையா அதர்வைஸ் பீப்புள் மே இல்லையா பீப்புள் மே சம் ஒன் ராங் திங் யூ டூ யுவர் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் வில் கோ டவுன் அண்ட் ஃபியர் ஆஃப் losing your name isn't it and all the go on the other side see you know isn't it why because they may think you are a hungry bad person you are not a good swami then how can you swami get angry they would have to keep smiling why because kule chuti bayam kenda bayam பலே ரிபு பயம் பலே ரிபு பயம் இஃப் யூ ஆர் இஃப் யூ த கிங் ஹேவ் த ஃபியர் ஆஃப் எனிமி தூக்கமே வராது கிங்குக்கு ஏன்னா ஹீஸ் ஒரிட் அபவுட் விச் பார்டர் இஸ் இன் 
in which border who is going to come and attack and take away something? Bale, Ripu Bayam. Rupe Jaraya Bayam. Rupe Jaraya Bayam. Jarana Namutarin at least. Jarana Janma Mrutyu Jara Vyadi Dukkha Dosha Anudarshanam. Jara means Jaran in Artha. Old age. Rupe Jaraya Bayam. In beauty, the fear of old age. Yo, skin gets wrinkled, isn't it? Skin gets wrinkled. And the skin wrinkling avoid Pandrathuk, another Botox, huh? Huh? Then another, I don't know what you call that. Botox, huh? Botox portal. Vijayangan. Tell him I've been in there. Huh? Pota, wrinkles lump, Ganesh. Pon Nodala. Pota, Pedro. Yeah. Why? Rupe Jaraya Bayam. Mane Dainya Bayam. Mane Dainya Bayam. If four people tell you you are great, you are afraid now. Somebody, nobody should tell you. Nobody should talk bad about you anymore. Everybody must say, you are good, you are good, you are good. The fear, oh my God, I can't stand, sir. I can't stand Avamanam. I feel like committing suicide because I can't stand Avamanam. Mane Dainya Bayam. Shastre Vadi Bayam. Look at that. Parchavan Kudur Bayam Shastra, one who has studied a lot, one who has gained a master of scriptures. Shastra, Vadi Bayam. Yaravi and Tapa Kandu Puchurang Lun Bayam. As I am talking and teaching, I am scared that somebody can point out the fallacy in my teaching. So I have to ensure that. <laughs> Look at that. Shastra, Vadi Bayam. Kaye Kritantat Bayam. Fear of death. Kale Kritantat Bayam. Allah only to how he concludes the beauty. Sarvam was to Bayan with him. Sarvam was to Bayan with him. Anything you associate with, you will end up in fear of losing that. Fear, fear, bayam, 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 bayam. Vairagyam eva abayam. Vairagyam eva abayam. Beautiful shlokas, it is hundred shlokas. Kindergarten is only good. That's why Vairagya Shatakam will be taught in kindergarten. That's why when we started studying Sanskrit for the first time, they they will teach you poems, no? Baba, black sheep, huh? and then what is the other thing they teach? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, other than Sanskrit knowledge, Sanskrit knowledge, they will say, Poge, roga, bayam, kule. If you feel like, why, do you even, why are you even reading this language now? Poge, roga, bayam, kule, chudi, bayam, vritte, rupalad, bayam, Ane, Danya Bayam, Bale, Ribu Bayam, Rupe, Jaraya Bayam, Shastre, Vadi Bayam, Gune, Kalabalam, Kaye, Kritantat Bayam. Abba, list two over us are in Urgada. He said, with this, I, I stop the list. Sarve, Kritantat Bayam. Everything, that fear is agitation, sinning. Are you able to follow? So, a person does, a, a person calls oneself spiritual and, and live in, and live in fear and doesn't even recognize it. Why? Because he believes what all the spiritual practices is the easy way of getting rid of sinning. That's why if Normal worldly methods make you ordinary sinning. When you come into a spiritual path, you will become a PhD in sinning. If 
Upanishad. Greater than Upanishad. Blinding darkness, greater than blinding darkness. Is how was the Upanishad? No. Dark, blinding darkness, greater than blinding darkness. Blinding darkness, you don't see anything. What is greater than blinding darkness? This is what it means. Are you able to follow? This is what this is what is meant as you become an expert in silly. Why? Because you know compensations. No. You know what to do. You know compensation, isn't it? Ah, as long as I am giving compensation, what does it uh, what difference does it make? Are you able to follow? Muktimna Bajati Jan Mashadena. Next to us, Padima. Sura Mandira Taru Mula Nivasaha Chaya Bhutala Majinam Vasaha Sarva Parikraha Bhogat Yagaha Kasya Sukham Nakaroti Viragaha Sura Mandira Taru Mula Nivasaha Shaya Bhutala Madinam Vasaha Sarva Parigraha Bhogatyagaha Kasya Sukham Nakaroti Viragaha Dwelling under a tree in temple, sleeping on the ground, wearing skin, Renouncing all possession and enjoyment to him will not dispassion bring happiness. Dwelling under a tree in temple, sleeping on the ground, wearing skin, renouncing all possession and enjoyment to him will not dispassion bring happiness. It's a rhetoric question. To him will, will not dispassion bring happiness means what? Only dispassion can bring happiness for there is no other there is no other uh, way to be there is no other way to be happy what is the method of dispassion knowledge is the method knowledge is the method. and what is knowledge educating the intellect on dharma Training the mind to obey the Dharma. Again, educating oneself on Dharma and training the mind to obey the Dharma. Through firm determination and the proper use of the free will, you gain you gain knowledge and understanding. When all this is dedicated for Chitta Shuddhi, Moksha, it becomes a spiritual practice. That's how knowledge brings about a transformation. Again, educating the intellect on Dharma, the higher ideals. Normally, in the normal vocabulary, they we use the word higher ideals, higher ideals, educating the intellect to hold on to the higher ideals, training the mind to obey that intellect. By firm determination, Dhriti, by firm determination and not Allowing the senses and the mind to dictate to you. The senses should not tell you what you have to do. The mind should not tell you what you have to do. The senses and the mind should do what you tell them to do. This is training. Isn't it? The senses and the mind should do what you tell them to do. Now they can't tell you what you should do. 
if the mind and the senses tells you what to do and you obey the command of the senses and the mind, the consequences of it is agitation, sinning. That is sinning. What is sin? Senses and the mind commanding you to do something and you helplessly, you go and do it helplessly. That is called sin. In Vedantic knowledge, that is called the sin. The senses and the mind dictating what you should do and you do it. Come back and complain later and say, I don't know why it's happening to me. I don't know why it's happening to me. I don't know why it's happening to me. We say lack of knowledge. So what is knowledge means? The intellect is trained. Edu sorry, the, the, the intellect is educated. That educated intellect will train the mind to obey with determination to hold on to the higher ideals for Chitta Shuddhi. That Chitta Shuddhi will result in Vairagya. That Vairagya will take you to Moksha. Will not to this person who has done all this, will not this passion bring happiness? What is the answer? To this person who has followed all this, will not dispassion bring happiness? What is the answer? Yes. Only this person can be, only this person can be happy. That's what previous verses also is saying. Muktimna bhajati janma shatena. Muktimna bhajati janma shatena. Knowledge alone will help you. Nowadays, uh, Vedanta teachers and all very different. The olden day Vedanta teachers gives you a different example. Beautiful teaching they do. The snake on the rope seen by your foolishness will not disappear by chanting Garuda Mantra. All this uh, old days, the um, backward teaching, people modern teaching, yeah, a backward style of teaching, but we don't like this backward way of teaching. Examples they give the snake on the rope seen because of your foolishness will not disappear, but because there is a mantra called Garuda Mantra. When the snake is chasing you, say the Garuda Mantra, it will protect because when the Garuda comes, snakes will. Snakes will run away in fear. No, that's, that's why it's called Garuda Mantra. So, what is the snake that you are seeing? The snake on the rope seen by your foolishness will not be driven away by the chanting of Garuda Mantra. The ghost that you have projected on the tree will not go away by ringing the bell. <laughs> yeah, dung, 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 the, money at the ghost will not run away. Why? Because where is the ghost? Where is the ghost? Ah, ghost anger. Where is the snake? Ah, in your head. Yeah. In your non-existing head, isn't it? In the in that non-existing head, there is a snake. In that non-existing head, there is the ghost. What you need to do? Bring in, bring in knowledge. <laughs> knowledge alone is the remedy. Knowledge alone is the remedy. And to make it clear on what is knowledge, he doesn't want us to do guesswork on what is knowledge. So he wants to tell us very clearly. What is meant by knowledge? Suramandirataru Moolani Vasaha. Sheltering in temples, under a tree. You can put kama, kama, kama or you can add everything together and make one sentence also. However you want to do it, you can do it. So sheltering in temples, kama. Under some trees, kama. Sleeping on the naked ground, kama. 
wearing a deer skin ama ipolla deer skin la podadingo because they will come and catch you isn't it if you if you use deer skin now you will be in uh, you will be in prison those days that was available in plenty because animals will come eat and they will be roaming in the forest some animals dead skin will will be there they will take and they will take and uh, use it sarva parigraha bhoga tyaga that tyaga of bhoga the tyaga of bhoga what is the tyaga of bhoga a wrong notion about life what is a wrong notion about life at the end of the day life means we should be happy no sir we should enjoy no sir that is the wrong concept of life bhoga is everyone follow see what whatever we do we should be happy we should enjoy no sir sarvaparigraha bhoga tyaga so what are you renouncing you are renouncing the wrong concept of life what is the wrong concept of life bhoga ultimately bhoga is the goal of life bhoga means enjoyment whatsoever i do i should be happy no whatsoever i do at the end of the day i should be happy and peaceful no so anything that gives me happy and peace is a right thing to do ah huh? if you keep that as an ideal logic will go like this only if you keep that as an ideal anything you do will go will go like this only therefore he says sarva parigraha bhoga tyaga what all this means is what technically you don't need anything to be happy for happiness is your nature your swarupa is ananda that is vedanta are you able to follow your original nature is ananda your original swarupa is ananda you don't need anything you don't have to do anything for ananda that's where knowledge comes in that's the segregation i need to do something for ananda that is one one approach to life another approach to life is what my swarupa is ananda in order to understand your swarupa as ananda you need to go through certain spiritual practices preparation vairagya etc then you will understand how your swarupa is ananda and once you are once you have realized that your swarupa is ananda you will you will tell others also do go there no why do you are why are you stuck here why are you stuck here viraga kasya sukham na karoti viraga kasya sukham na karoti who will not get happiness who will not get happiness in independence hmm? who will not get happiness in independence they want to become independent correct i want to become self sufficient i want to become in independent what is this independence means fulfillment of desires have no connection to peace and happiness that is knowledge fulfillment of desires have no connection to peace and happiness this is knowledge kasya sukham na karoti viragah a person who understands this will be will be happy independent if happiness is connected to what you have then what should be the law of life if happiness is connected to what you have then what should be the law of life the poor should be depressed the rich should be dancing and whistling isn't it the rich should be dancing and whistling 
the poor should be depressed. Now you find both are depressed. Now you find both are depressed. The poor is also depressed. The rich is also depressed. If one person is sitting on the road sitting in depression, another person is sitting in depression in a hut, another person is sitting in depression in a rented house, another person is sitting in depression in the own house, eh? villa. In villa, I can sit in depression. I can sit in depression on road. I can sit in depression in villa. It means what? Fulfillment of desires and happiness has no correlation. Fulfillment of desires and happiness, no correlation. Very difficult to accept this state. Very difficult to accept this state. Why? Because you will say, I got it, no sir. I got it, no. First time you get it. The problem is, where we fall for it is, the first contact gives you something and makes you to believe it is in it. Therefore, you want more and more and more and you want to squeeze more and more. The first contact gave you something. That first contact giving you something made you to believe what? There is something in it. More if I have it, more I'll get it. In the first contact, happiness came out of the first contact because before that there was no contact. Before that there was no contact. Therefore, it is. So the first contact is a reduction of happiness. The first contact you are in, before the first contact you are in bliss. Yeah. So, Mitra, are you able to follow? This is how technically you understand it. For the first contact, you are in bliss. The first contact brought you down from bliss to happiness. Ananda. From Ananda to, to Sukham. And Sukham will necessarily follow by Sukham. That Sukham will automatically be followed by, by Dukham. Therefore, you should have that clarity. What is the clarity? Even though light comes from moon, moon has no light. Correct? Even though light comes from moon, the moon has no light. It is reflected light. You see the moon. Yeah, Pornami. You see the moon on Pornami, it is Every month they give one one name also to know blue moon, pink moon. I don't know what all names they give to the moon also, isn't it? You see the moon, light is coming. Light is coming. How can you tell yourself that there is no, there is no light? Knowledge comes and says it is reflected light. Don't misunderstand the reflection. The reflected light as original light. Don't misunderstand the reflected light as original light. That is why Viragaha, abstinence is joy. Contact is sorrow. Abstinence is ananda. Contact is sorrow. Preparation for sorrow contact is. Contact is preparation for sorrow. How? The first contact gave you some joy. And the joy makes you to believe more if you squeeze, more joy. So I go on squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Sugar cane juice, madre, isn't it? You go on squeeze, 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 till it turns into a paper also and till it's trying to squeeze. Nothing will come out, isn't it? Nothing will come out. Another example, moonlight, sugar cane juice. Another example. Bone dry, isn't it? Bone dry means what? Nothing in it. The dog bites the bites the bone. And when it bites the bone, 
it's so harsh it's so hard it cuts itself slightly it cuts itself slightly and it starts bleeding and it takes the blood thinking that the bone is giving blood and it bites it harder foolishness it is kasya sukham na karoti viragah viragah means independent life life of independence what is life of independence means your senses and your mind cannot cannot independence means your senses and your mind cannot lead you if your senses and mind is driving you you have lost independence independence means your senses and your mind cannot lead you if your senses and your mind cannot lead you nothing in the world can disturb you after that nothing so much my senses and my mind is under control sir but uh, i got tempted by that only nothing can tempt you if this independence has come sarva parigraha bhoga tyaga kasya sukham na karoti iraga look at this person here A uncluttered mind. That's all it requires to be viraga. Mind that is not cluttered. Cluttered mind is it's all over the place, full of, full of dirt in it. Now, what do you do with that? What can you do with that mind? Siddha Pragya Yar Arjuna. He asked Arjuna. Asked Krishna, "Who is the Siddha Pragya?" ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ by the self sthita pragnya ato uchyate they are called as sthita pragnya a wise person who is called as a wise person the sthita pragnya is called as a wise person who is he one who has cast away all desires from where mind kaivalya again said it very beautifully mantra mantra 3 this i keep quoting any number of times na karmana na prajayadane na tyage naike amrutatva manushu parena nagam nihitam guhayam vibrajate yadhyatayo vishanti a beautiful mantra which is used as the uh, which is used as the welcoming mantra for the guru when the guru comes they welcome the guru with this mantra lea yeah. it's called purna kumbha mantra when the when the guru walks in they welcome the guru with this mantra tuttu kumbha mantra parena nagan hitam guhaya vibrajate yadyate yogishanti vedanta vigyasu nischitartha sanyasa yoga dyataya shuddha sattvaha sanyasa yoga ya karma yoga bhakti yoga la untaru avaru ya kaival upanishad comes in a new yoga called sanyasa yoga ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ <laughs> they 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 didn't attain liberation at all and these few has attained 
and what is enlightenment means immaturity and internal in, and an internal transformation kasya sukham nakaroti viragah will not this passion bring happiness v the prefix v in sanskrit means vairi the prefix v in sanskrit means vairi vairi means enemy what is knowledge knowledge is nothing but the capacity to understand likes and dislikes as your enemies one who has developed this understanding He is called a vairagi. A vairagi is one who has vairagya. And what does vairagya means? Vairagya means the capacity, the strength to understand the in your only enemy is ragatvesha. Ragatvesha is your only enemies, and there is no enemy from outside. Baleri pu bayam. And the bayam, in the bayam, now, one, 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 two, bayam, one, two, one, two, one. Elsewhere, he says, you should fear one, one bayam, that are going. Two, be a list of bayams you should not have. You should, you should have bayam only to one. What? Ragadvesham. Oh my God, you ragadvesham. Where did they end up bayam? No, sir. Ragadvesham very important. That all outer good are limited. Are we going? Ram Subramanya, correct? Sir. ராகத்வேஷம் லிமிட்டடா வச்சுக்கும் அப்படியே எல்லாம் ஃபுல்லாலாம் ட்ராப் பண்ணிடக்கூடாது லிட்டில் பிட் ஆஃப் ராகத்வேஷம் இஸ் ஓகே சார் ஃபுல்லா ட்ராப் பண்ணிட்டு தென் வாட் வி வில் டூ இன் லைஃப் ஸோ லிட்டில் பிட் ஆஃப் ராகத்வேஷம் வி ஷுட் ஹேவ் அண்ட் காட் ஓன்லி நோஸ் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் லிமிட் காட் ஓன்லி நோஸ் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் லிமிடேஷன் ஆஃப் ராகத்வேஷம் வைராகிய மீன்ஸ் த கெப்பாசிட்டி த நாலேஜ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் த எனிமி இஸ் இன் தி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் ராக துவேஷ சிட்டிங் sitting inside you sitting inside you and this enemy likes darkness remember this this enemy likes darkness that's why you bring in light darkness disappears this enemy of ragadvesha likes what dark ignorance darkness irundha than this this enemy can survive therefore it will do anything to prevent you from gaining knowledge it will allow you to do pilgrimage kurude ganga sagar gavanam it will allow you to do it will allow you to go to sit and listen to all the discourses it will make you a very good knowledgeable scriptures it will also allow you to give discourses and change the others also but one thing it will not allow you to do what you should not change hena you should remain in darkness only when you remain in darkness the enemy can the enemy can survive the ragadvesha enemy to survive what that enemy requires ignorance darkness therefore knowledge is bring in light bring in light bring in light when you bring in light when you bring in light knowledge uh, when you bring in light ignorance disappears that's the knowledge seriya so, yeah. is any clarifications irka mala a general clarification why do we say garuda the eagle symbolizes veda eagle has the power of seeing its prey from such a long distance and able to hit the prey with the focus with 100% success should be connected with some aspect of the veda every time we visit the perumal temple we pray garuda before playing lord narayana but we do not understand much can you please help mala very good garuda veda is equated to garuda correct it's a very correct equation because it can see so clearly no you can see garuda okay amit you are, you understand who is a garuda no 
ஐ எம் அசூமிங் எவ்ரிபடி நோஸ் கருடா அண்ட் ஐ எம் கண்டினியூ இப்போ இப்போ கருடாவே யாருன்னு தெரியலனா இட்ஸ் ஓகே டசன்ட் மேட்டர் கருடா இஸ் த டிவைன் பேர்ட் நாட் ஆர்டினரி வல்ச்சர் இன் ஈக்குள் கருடா இஸ் த டிவைன் டிவைன் பேர்ட் விச் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு யூசஸ் ஆஸ் ஹிஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் வெஹிக்கிள் God also needs to go from place to place, no? And they also need vehicle. Therefore, he uses Garuda. And Garuda, the no, Vedas. Vedas means it tells you precisely. Knowledge means it has to tell you precisely. Knowledge means it has to tell you precisely. Ma Vega got to go there. Are you able to follow? Knowledge means it should give you clarity in precision. Then only it's knowledge. Knowledge cannot be vague by nature. Knowledge has to be precise in precision. in nature therefore unless you worship garuda you cannot see narayana as a rule unless you worship garuda you cannot see narayana because vedas mulyamada you can see you can't go to narayana directly bypassing garuda garuda becomes an important factor for every god there is one one thing like that for for narayana it is garuda that's all for shiva it is nandi for shiva it is nandi for for every god will have one one thing like that here the here the symbolism is there now this is a common symbolism for all gods so without that you cannot approach god you cannot approach god directly that's why garuda is called garuda arvar isn't it he, he is equated to the devotee garuda arvar wonderful you follow you cannot go to god directly why you cannot go to god directly without knowledge if you go to god directly adha ivlo neram solli kuttam mala without vedas if you go to god directly you will become an expert in singing with veda if you go to god you will know how to go to god properly are you able to follow adha symbols today people think veda sala vana straight away i can go to straight i can go to god you cannot go to god like that for even follow that's why it's kept very clearly the traditional puranic way of teaching is like that the modern way of teaching the same thing is pole vault the modern way of teaching the same thing is pole vault because we have lost the culture of garuda purana temple adala yaru nyabagume irukka matindrathu nobody even knows now why give those examples so so with all compassion and goodness he changed the examples beautiful example pole vault it's the same thing seriya mala is it okay that is why modalla garuda varata permission vaangina ullu ponu Yeah, we have to, almost seeking his permission to go. Seeking his permission is not literally. Meaning, without your help, I can't see him. Nartha. Without your help, I can't see him. That's what it means. Without your help, I can't, can't see him. How do you see him? Is it okay, Manna? I don't know if you have a good day. I don't know if you have a good day. அவர்கிட்ட ஒரு அஞ்சு நிமிஷம் உட்காரணும் பெருமாள் வெயிட் பண்ணுவார் அவர்னா கவலையே போகுது பெரும் அவசரமே இது பட தேவையில்லை பெருமாள்கிட்ட போகிறதுக்கு நோ அர்ஜென்சி அட்டா இல்லையா கருடா அவர்கிட்ட உட்காரணும் அவர மாதிரி ஆகணும் அந்த நாலேஜ் எடுத்துக்கணும் தட் கிளாரிட்டி வரணும் தென் என்டர் நாராயணா கர்ப்பகிரக ஹவு டு யூ கம் அவுட் நல்லா யூ என்டர் கர்ப்பகிரக யூ ஷுட் கம் அவுட் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் போயிட்டு போயிட்டு வரக்கூடாது once you enter garbhagraha you should come out transformed ya poi to poi to vandha nerathil prayojanamey illa illa thoda that lady told me last week that idu varaikum some 45 45 times i have visited up to kulasekara padi sir kulasekara padi is the closest point that you can that you can go and see balaji i have not gone even once i am asking narayan ji help me he is not helping me also i am so i am now garuda arvar only i have to wait now yeah you can go that close one more feet you can go and hug narayana you can go and hug balaji you know they take you that close i went there he sat there i saw very good 
வேதாஸ் இஸ் டெல்லிங் யூ கர்ப்பகிரக உள்ள போனா வெளில வரும்போது எப்படி வரணும் இட்ஸ் ஓம் ஹவுஸ் கர்ப்பகிரக ஓம் ஹவுஸ் யூ கோ தேர் அண்ட் ஹவு உள்ள போறால் வெளில வரக்கூடாது இல்லையா உள்ள போகும்போது எப்படி இருக்கணும் வெளில வரும்போது எப்படி இருக்கணும் ஐ ஐல் சே இன் இங்கிலீஷ் அமித் டோன்ட் வரி ஐ சே ஆல் த திங் how you enter the womb like a dot you enter the womb how you come out of the womb 9 months later a full grown child yeah that's called garbhagraha womb house sanctum sanctorum in english you go into the sanctum sanctorum you come out how you should come out completely transformed there there cannot be any connection between the one who went inside and the one who came out adukku garudarva is very important mala puriyadha that's where garudarvar is very very important avar illama i will go exactly like how i go in i i come out sanctum sanctorum ille pola illaya that's called garbhagraha womb house sanctum sanctorum in sanskrit is called garbhagraha correct yes sir garbha means womb griha it's a womb house it means what you go in stay in there for a few minutes and when you come out i genuinely believed it will be it will happen when i was a child i genuinely believed it will happen so i went into kabali and i sat there thank god something he changed also that's a different story yeah i went and i sat i said vella maarlana vella pogudadu i thought to myself because you go in there you should come out no because i studied what is garbhagraha he taught me what is garbha what is graha how you enter how you come out I'm like oh my god should not happen isn't it it happens should change it will change sir yeah next clarification mala did i help you ha ah. is there anything else that's all ah ah one more is here irunga see the difference between sukha and ananda how do you have to follow the sukha yeah the clarification is how to see the difference between ananda and sukha ananda is when you are in your natural state sukham is when the senses are tickled when the senses are tickled that is sukham anandam is when you are in your natural state in your natural state we don't know what's happening no when senses get tickled only we wake up correct we wake up only when the senses get tickled that is joy very good question what happened to you today we have an assumption of how everybody you know suddenly you know some nalla question get i am getting a shock really she because she is trained to ask only dumb useless foolish statements not questions she will only make some foolish statements and go away today by mistake she asked one good question na question na how to differentiate distinguish between the two when the what you experience as a joy is nothing but the senses getting tickled well we don't know anything other than the senses getting tickled and we go on falling for that because we want our senses to get tickled again and again and again remember the rat experiment remember the rat experiment they inserted the rod in the brain of the rat and every time it touches the electric every time it touches the switch it gets a joy it gets a joy in 30 minutes the rat died because it can't it couldn't resist itself from touching 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 you know or what it touch panna joy continuous touch panni ne irunda more and more joy no correct are you able to follow that's how you distinguish when senses get tickled that is joy when you are in your natural state that is bliss ananda how not to fall for sukham you will not fall for sukham when you know what is next for you not to fall for sukham you should have the penetrating capacity to see the dukkham in it then only you will not fall for sukham are you able to follow that's why we need buddhi the penetrating capacity the intellect is needed the in, the buddhi the penetrating capacity the intellect will tell you 
there is to come now what is next you la yaar wait panni nirukranga next dukkham and when sukham comes it goes away very fast and when dukkham comes oh ve matendrar avaru isn't it ve janma vaanadu dukkham ave upandirukkarar veetla illa chair potu upandittar avaru sukham cross ventilation madri inda tarandu utta bus nu poyirudhu nothing is happening here there go clarity what is the clarity what is the what is the clarity sukham is followed by what is going to happen next the consequence sukham will necessarily be followed by the consequence of dukkham and the intensity of dukkham will be more and the intensity the longevity and intensity of sukham versus the longevity and the intensity of dukkham dam putti amit remember this like a mantra repeat it every day the the longevity and intensity the intensity and longevity of sukham second the intensity and longevity of dukkham disproportionate it is have you ever observed it it is disproportionate it is why it is like that the god adam poi irukku wow who knows why? why it is like that god only know that's creation buddhi must be there to understand that's how you will not fall for it are you able to follow the the intensity of sukham and the longevity of sukham goes away it disappears as fast as it appears sukham dukkham dukkham eppadi irukku uninvited permanent guest dukkham invitation fleeting guest is sukham are you able to follow uninvited permanent guest vaana vaana nalum avar he 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 doesn't leave the house avar is dukkham vaango vaango nalum even if he comes he comes and leaves in a jiffy flash are you able to follow vijay purida you will be using it idhu peru dhan putti that's how you get out of it but the mind falls for that but the mind falls for what what does the mind fall for mind falls for that drop of honey the mind falls for that drop of honey what is the drop of honey ram subramaniam what is the drop of honey branch is breaking crocodile is waiting hmm? the snake is there is a tiger waiting down there is a crocodile waiting in the thing the branch is breaking well and there is a snake that is anaconda anaconda ah correct some snake that is crawling in in this situation what happens the bee hive got disturbed in this situation the bee hive got disturbed and when the bee hive gets disturbed what will drop honey hello look at that in that situation the man is i saw a video of i don't know one of one one of the friends sends a video i don't know whether anybody has seen that video such a beautiful oh, gosh a crocodile has caught a monkey in the mouth and the monkey is eating something from say not even realizing it's in the not even realizing in the crocodiles isn't it ramakrishna paramsa gives a much grosser example yeah. the goats are taken for slaughtering on the way to slaughter they are mating he says look at that are able to follow the goats are taken for slaughtering on the way to get slaughtered they are 
no buddhi at all. If they do it, it's understandable. Human being does it is consequence. What is the consequence? Intensity and longevity of dukkam. So what will help you not fall for it? That is a very pessimistic way. Go back to your natural state and be in ananda. Na? Where is pessimism in this? Are you able to follow? Go back to your original state of ananda and be, and be in that bliss. Don't fall for this. Are you able to follow? Don't fall. So not to fall. Remember, intensity, longevity of sukham. Intensity, longevity of sukham. Yeah. Loan madri. EMI is madri. Another example. EMI Madhuri. Yeah. You buy a May back, May back then, Adama, correct, May back. I saw one May back in Delhi. I, saw, I told the Bhaglapa, I said, what a beautiful May back it is. I couldn't even know that, I couldn't even understand what the distinction is. I am so dumb. What a beautiful EMI. You buy that. The first day, the first day, very joyful. Next morning, 50% of the joy content is gone. Have you ever observed it? Any acquisition, next morning, 50% of the joy content is gone. And another the honeymoon period, isn't it? That's called honeymoon. Marriage starts after the honeymoon period. Yeah, marriage. Honeymoon la marriage gade. That's fantasy. Yeah. When does the actual marriage start? The day the honeymoon is over, marriage starts. The longevity of how it will be permanent honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you there is a way. Ananda, come to bliss. There you will get it. Not through the senses. Are you able to follow the various examples you can give? You can give your own examples for all these things. I'm giving three four examples that comes to my memory. You all can bring up with your own, come up with your own examples for all these things. You don't have to necessarily mechanically repeat the same examples. Come up with some example of yours which will, which will bring about the, the change. What he calls is the penny draw. You follow? That's a distinction. How not to fall for so come have buddhi. Have buddhi. And buddhi means what? Understanding this. Longevity, huh? intensity and longevity. Intensity and longevity. Hmm? We will continue next week.